There's a print-on-demand supplier on the scene called PrintBest, and they service the United States and Canada. So one thing I really like about PrintBest is that they have really high-quality garments like Champion and Fruit of the Loom. So in this video, I'm going to walk through how to upload a design to create, in this case, a hoodie. And I got it shipped to my house, so I'll do a product review on the quality of the hoodie as well. Let's go! Now if you're new to Print On Demand, you may be wondering how PrintBest is different than a site like Redbubble or TeePublic. So with Redbubble and TeePublic, you create designs and then you just get a commission when your product sells on that site. So Redbubble and TeePublic are marketplaces. However, with PrintBest, they're a print on demand supplier. So you need to supply the website. So if you're using PrintBest, you would buy a domain name, for example, and then you would use Shopify as an example to sell your products. Or if you have an Etsy shop, you can list on Etsy. And then when the customer buys the product on Etsy, PrintBest will print and ship your order. The reason that this can be lucrative is that some people don't like shopping on Redbubble. Typically the margins are higher as well if you use your own website. So they would rather deal with a real person. So if you have an Etsy store, for example, you handle the customer service and then PrintBest ships out the product directly to the customer. I think the product selection on PrintBest is really, really good. They have high quality garments and there's lots of name brands and that can be really appealing to customers. So here's a hoodie that I want. It's a gray fruit of the loom hoodie. So you log into PrintBest and then to pick the product, you go up to the top menu and you select products and then hoodies. So overall, I just really like PrintBest's website. I just think it's very intuitive, it's very easy. I don't like complicated, and here we go. I click on hoodies and we've got just four options, which is great. Gildan, Champion, Fruit of the Loom, and Bella Plus Canvas. I'm gonna use this Fruit of the Loom, and I'm gonna just click on this button. Then it's gonna ask me, is the product for my store, or is the product for myself? And in this case, the product is for myself. So I'm just gonna click that guy. And that brings us into our dashboard here where we can see the hoodie. We've got a couple mock-ups on what it looks like. Now we can pick the color and it just instantly updates, which is really nice. They have a lot of good colors here too. I'm just gonna pick one that says Athletic Heather. There's also Charcoal Heather. I like the Athletic Heather. This is like a standard gray hoodie here. And now I'm gonna put my picture on here as well. So I'm going to just click the Create Upload Design. It's the blue button down on the bottom right-hand side. I'll click that. Now it's gonna bring us to this interface and it's gonna give us a little walkthrough so you can go next and it walks you kind of through the different colors. And if you're, up, if you're uploading multiple designs or if you've seen this before, then you can just press the Skip button and that just disappears. So I'm just gonna upload my artwork now, top left, big button there and I can just click on my device to upload my picture. Okay, so I've uploaded my hoodie PNG. This is a basically a Merch by Amazon sized file. It's 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, and it's just going to upload. It's not a very large file at all. And now it sits on the actual hoodie. Now you could make this bigger, you can move this around. So there's one option here, you can actually drag this and make it quite large if you wanted. So you could do a big design like that. I'm actually making this for a friend of mine, so they don't want it super large. They said they're typically people who are not like super extroverted, they want like a more subtle design and that's totally fine. So they actually want the design relatively small. So I'm gonna put it like that. And you can see here the print quality actually changes on the right hand side. If I go out or if I go in, you'll see the DPI actually changes, that's the dots per inch. So I'm just gonna make it look like that. It's not the biggest design in the world, but it looks pretty good. Now, if you don't use a Photoshop or Inkscape, or if you don't have high-end software, you can actually play around right here in the system. So there's this background option on the bottom left-hand side, and I can actually change the color. Now it is gonna change the color of the whole palette, but I could do that if I wanted. So I would just change the color now. Maybe I wanna make it you know, bright green, for example. Now again, it would change the whole thing, so that's probably not what I want, but there may be a situation where you do. If you don't like that, of course, you just select no background. You can also add text, and you can add names and numbers to things, which is kind of neat. 
and you can move the design around up here. You can flip the design. You can also delete the design, that kind of thing. So lots of different ideas. There's also clip art options. There's template options. There's lots to play with. Now I'm just doing a very simple design. It's not even that big. And when I click generate preview, it will look at it and say, okay, there we go. There's the preview design. And it's just basically a computer mock-up. And we can see kind of just what it would look like. This is useful if you're integrating a store with Etsy or something like that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that overall. I've got my guy here, he's wearing the hoodie, and I'm just gonna plunk in my size now. So extra large quantity is gonna be one. And from here we can see this is $22.28. Now this is Canadian. You can also calculate a shipping cost as well. You just simply put in your province. Maybe I'm sitting in Saskatchewan, for example, I can get a quote. You can see here apparel flat rate shipping comes in at $7.99, which in Canada is pretty great. That means with shipping included, I can basically get a hoodie for 30 bucks. Makes a great birthday gift if you want to order a sample, or you can also just jack up the price by $10 and sell it to a buddy, sell it on Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks, sell it on Etsy, you can sell it anywhere. Overall, I'm really happy with that. So I got this thing actually delivered to my house. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so here is the hoodie. It's gray and it's extra large. And the stitching I think is really high quality. Now my design is a little on the small side, but I actually wanted it that way. I know our first impulse with print on demand designs is to have the largest possible design, but there are lots of customers out there who like a more subtle design on their clothing. They don't want it just blaring in everybody's face when they're walking around town. So in hindsight, I probably could have put a little white circle in behind this design to help make the human and the cat show a little bit better. But again, that's just personal preference. Some people like that, some people don't. I personally also really like the retro vintage sunset design. And of course, a black cat always makes the world a better place. So if you're interested in PrintBest, I have a link in the video description below you can click on. So here are pictures of my black cat as I tell you that the link to PrintBest in the video description below is an affiliate link, which means if you click the link and buy something, I would receive a small commission. So overall, I like the hoodie a lot. It's super comfortable, high quality, and I especially like the front pockets because I live in Canada and it's winter like practically all year long. So thanks a lot for watching. And if you're interested, here's another product review video that you also might like.